your wife runs a reparative therapy uh, group no. for homosexuals at That's Salem good. Baptist Church. You That's never good. wrote that? I've never written that. You've never written that? No, my wife, my wife is over the marriage ministry. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm sadly mistaken if, if that's, that's the case, but happened. I remember reading that. No, that's never happened. And, and you've, well, you've written that there's a... There's no, a no, 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 what I wrote in my column, that there was a man who was at our church in Houston when she was minister to Christ, uh, she's a minister of Christian education, who came to her and he said, I want to teach Bible study. He said, but I, as a gay man, feel uncomfortable doing that, he said, because of the faith issue. And so she sat down with him and they walked through that process in terms of what his issues were. And helped him overcome his homosexuality. No, no, what she did was she said, she said no, the, is the fundamental issue in that was not his homosexuality. The issue was for him a spiritual crisis. He was not comfortable teaching Bible study, living his lifestyle. That, so he came to her and said, I want to teach Bible study. So what she said is, she said, I'm going to advise you the same way I advise somebody who is single and heterosexual. You need to, first of all, abstain from, from, from being involved if you want to be more pure spiritually to teach it. She said, and if you do not want to continue that, you must, you must remove yourself uh, from that surrounding. So let's say if, if I'm a single man and I want to teach Bible study, but I'm sitting there still hanging all my spirit, my single guys, and we're sitting there making road trips because we all want to hit women. I mean, that, see, that, see, now all of a sudden I, I haven't changed something in my life if I'm bothered by that. So he was bothered by that, and what happened was he made the decision, went on to teach Bible study, and became one of the top Bible study teachers there. But he was reaching out saying, as my pastor, I need you to help me with this. Right, and my question is just sort of, the Democratic Party isn't generally friendly to people who, 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 who take that sort of religious view. And that's their problem. What the Democratic Party has to understand is, is that you're going to sometimes have somebody who is gay and somebody who is evangelical at the same table. It does not mean that we will agree on every single thing that's going on. But the fact of the matter is, everybody can fit. I can disagree with somebody and still say we go down the right path. That's Democrats' problem. And so I think they get caught up in that. You know, that's what happened with, with, with Obama campaign and Donald McClark and the Kerber John Caldwell. He had a number of gays in the party who were giving a t crazy amounts of money. They put pressure saying, well, no, he can't be involved at all. I said, guys, let me tell you all something. If you think that you can silence black pastors, y'all might have two with y'all. 